Hello classmates of Green IT and Virtualization. Today's presentation will cover, as you can see, the topic of remote data centers. And I'm Matthew Smith. Given the previous seven weeks that we spent together in class, the majority of you have a general idea of what a remote data center is. After studying the procedures and taking hands-on attempts to virtualize servers, the idea of remote data centers follow the attractive decision to virtualize data and information for the purposes of consolidation and efficiency. First, we will take a step back and look at the components that are comprised of a data center and the current environment that we operate in. We will also look at future considerations. Common devices in the data center are servers, network security devices, managed switches and hubs, telecommunications equipment, universal power source devices, environmental control systems, and building access systems. Servers are the large physical piece of the data center. 27.3 million servers are now operating worldwide. And that number has increased substantially within the last 10 years. Servers only operate at 15% average utilization. So we're looking to improve this utilization and also consolidate our data center as the demand for more and more servers cause the implication that we may need to increase space or manage virtually. So we have two options. We can consolidate our servers where we remove unnecessary servers that are in our physical proximity or we can choose to virtualize and manage remotely. Network and security. There's continuous network growth and demand for higher bandwidth and demand for higher performance. Availability is also a very large component as businesses are operating 24-7, 365 at all hours of the day. So rather than consolidating our servers, simply, we may want to operate and find a way to operate globally at all hours of the day from any location. Here is we were we can manage remotely. Remote management allows centrally located personnel and application to monitor, manage, and respond to globally distributed networks and systems from a single location. Our network infrastructure would be globally dispersed but centrally managed. We would have a lot of strengths with our management as anyone could access the network at any time from any place. IT managers can respond to problems quickly and perform corrective actions from anywhere in the world at any time. This also allows us to authenticate users through a secure access given stronger security. So it also allows us to decrease time when finding resolutions to problems while decreasing downtime as well. This also ensures connectivity to enterprise network equipment even if the network is down. Managing remotely will allow us to system reboot remotely as well. Ensuring safe data center power load and distribution would also be a large increase to our uh, performance and accessibility. We could also enable remote management and troubleshooting at any time, after hours, on weekends and holidays, without having to send in a technician at any site. As far as increasing our revenues and productivity and efficiency, managing remotely allows us to streamline the business process. Here are just a few things, a few benefits that we have seen from remote management. There are five pieces, five elements of security to remote management. Scalability, in which as current demands are increasing for power and, and usage, we also need to be able to expand at that same rate. Our systems need to be flexible, in which we can operate from anywhere at any time, the key to remote management. We would also need to have operating system independence with this virtualization, 
we were able to operate multiple operating systems on multiple different machines rather than being stuck with one operating system for one server for one company. So we would also need to look at the security standards that would need to be provisioned and along we'd also need to find a plan for fault management. Now the key to remote management that I've seen has been from Vern Global in Iceland. Vern is a third party data center distributor which companies across the world can purchase the rights to rent space within Vern's data center. Vern can be could basically be seen as a wholesale da data center supplier. Vern retrofits the facility with infrastructure equipment such as universal power systems and power generators and customers can then purchase power traditionally measured in per kilowatt hour and this allows them other companies to rather locate their data centers in one physical location but to locate at Vern Global in Iceland remotely. This would end the age of server hugging in which businesses would want to keep their information tight within the company in one location due to confidentiality. But now with increased security and in remote management, we don't need to keep all of our information and data at the physical data center. Vern uses a combination of geothermal and hydroelectric power to make their power sourcing very efficient and very green and the idea of free cooling considering Iceland has much lower daily and yearly temperatures than common data centers in New York, London, Boston have considering the climate location. Given such low operating costs, choosing Vern Global as a data center distributor and provider is a respectable decision for many companies who are looking to reduce costs. Another example is the NEC Corporation of America as they have incorporated the HydroStore Open Storage Express input output system in which companies can use HydroStore Open Storage for remote backup. This is also proven to give much higher utilization levels and increased capacity for those who would like to extend to third party uh, suppliers of remote data backup. So, should we manage remotely, or should we consolidate? Given data centers that are jam-packed, consolidation is a viable choice. But with increasing demands for power and efficiency and utilization, it is much easier to virtualize and locate all of our data in one location that we could manage from one location across the world rather than just to worry about our physical space. Today companies need 100% uptime for their servers, for their networks, all the applications and for customer service to assure uh, a standard of performance. Managing remotely would allow us to cut serious costs of staffing, server maintenance, network maintenance, and all the other monitoring costs that go along with server technology. Given the ever-increasing needs for power and capacity output, remote data center management seems to provide a viable solution to reducing costs of physical data center management, increasing network security and accessibility, and flexibility of human resources. It is important to consider the idea that data center growth implies management growth or scalability. If companies would like to see increasing returns on revenue, cutting costs, when a lot of their data needs to be stored, and increasing demands for performance have come to the table, managing remotely seems to be the correct solution. Thank you.